Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, this is the Red Engineer and today I'm going to show you 10 facts that you probably didn't know about Minecraft. And I said you probably didn't know because I can't make sure that you guys didn't know them. How would it be possible in the world? And I'm pretty sure that at least some of them you never heard about these facts because I have found them while making my one comment creations and doing coding. So yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Okay guys, so here I have a staircase made out of full blocks and if we give to a player a levitation effect with an amplifier of 160, look what happens. He can climb blocks in, in a really really quick way and reach the end really really quickly. And also the earth will have a bigger attraction force and if I try to jump down, look how fast I fell down. So using different values on on the levitation effect we can create different types of attraction forces. Extra tip if you want to clear the potion effect of a player you can type in chat or in a command block this command slash effect at p clear or wherever the name of that player is. So guys you already know that chests can't be opened if there's a full block above them and yeah here's the proof. But there are some exceptions with full blocks. For example, TNT blocks do not interfere to chest opening even if they are full blocks. This applies to leaves and also to glass blocks. And of course blocks that are not full blocks such as stairs. But this is a really old trick that you can use to place a let's say full block above the chest and be able to open it at the same time. This is a pretty interesting one. So you know that with the slash set block command we can place blocks around the world. And if we try to place a stone slab with a data value of 2, look what happens. It places a slab but this time it has a wooden texture. But you know what's the most strange thing about it is that if we copy this block and place it down, it plays the same exact sound when you place a stone slab. And to prove that I have here a normal wooden slab that makes a different sound. So this is the wooden one and this is the stone one. Stone slab sounds are still played when a player steps on them. Now if I can increase a bit the volume of the game volume so you can hear it. It sounds like I'm stepping on a stone slab and as long as I step on these ones they make a normal wooden plank sound. So you can use as a trick for your maps. So you know sometimes I don't really like how this wooden sound sounds and you can use this one instead. It's more relaxing, it doesn't make that much noise and you can still have a wooden texture. Schools are the only blocks that can be placed even if you're occupying that block. It works for all the types of schools, but as long as you get out of the school hitbox, you cannot go inside it anymore. It will act as a normal block. Android particles are rendered differently through water. Uh, oh snap, they fixed it. Uh, never mind, let's carry on. <laughs> Carpets in Minecraft have a really strange behavior, so they have their own hitbox, you can step on them, but they don't have some really good properties, because when you place a carpet on a block and you step on that carpet, you will hear the splay sound of the block underneath it. So for example here there are stone blocks under the carpet and I can hear the player stepping on stone. And as you can see, particles generated are stone particles. Same when I step on different blocks. It doesn't take the play sound of wool because carpets are made out of wool. And what they do, they make the wool sound and wool particles if you jump. You see that when I jump, sometimes you can hear the wool sound and also you can see the wool particles. Using this strange behavior of carpets, you can for example make a really big black carpet but when you step on it it generates white particles how did they do that it's simple you place a white carpet underneath and that makes a really nice effect that you can add in your world in your house or show it to your friends so you all know that by clicking the pick button you can pick the block that you're looking at for example this grass block and usually the pick block is the mouse wheel but if you changed it from the options it will be the button that you selected and but anyways it, all it does it helps you pick the block that you're looking at really simple but there is a small exception for these two blocks when you click the pick block on a on a mushroom block 
It gives you just the respective mushroom and not the block, just the item. Are you serious? Mushroom? It's pronounced mushroom, red, mushroom. Do you guys remember that slash set block command that allowed us to set some stone slabs that had a wooden texture? Well, we can use the give command to take these items in our inventory and they will work just fine and have these strange properties. But if we try to use the slash give command to get, for example, a brown mushroom block with any data value that we use, we will get the same exact block. Now I'm going to show it to you. I gave to myself a brown block with a data value of 0, let's take one with a data value of 1, it gave me the same block, data value of 2, of 5, of 12, of 16, which is the maximum, it every time gives me the same exact block, same for the red mushroom block. Oh, and another strange thing is that the brown mushroom block has a texture and the red one doesn't. Okay, that's something new that I discovered on camera. And the only way to get the different data values of these blocks is by using the slash set block command. There's no other way on getting them with the give command. You guys can make some pretty interesting effects using end portals and see that they, they start to make this really interesting circle shape but that's not what I wanted to tell you. So I found this interesting behavior of end portals when I created the intro of my channel because you see that there's like a time lapse of end portals in the background of my intro. Mm, what I discovered is that if we turn the render distance to minimum and if you get far from from the portals they will show up white and they will change color if you get to a certain distance so as you can see now they are blue and they look really really nice i really like how they look like look at that there's like a spectrum effect let's use the slash tp command to find the different colors slash tp at p let's say for example minus 0.1 Okay, now it's becoming normal, they're becoming normal, so what I have to do, I have to go up every time and see how the portals change color. So as you can see now, they are white, completely white. And I think that I have to look straight down. Okay, they start to become blue and then it's, yeah, a darker blue and then black in the background. So yeah, that's the interesting and portal effect. In Minecraft 1.8 players could get inside cauldrons but not items and this is strange because players and items are entities so they are the same exact thing but apparently items cannot stay inside cauldrons in Minecraft 1.8 and in Minecraft 1.9 they finally fixed this problem. I don't know if it was a bug but I'm really happy that they fixed it because I can use this system to make crafting recipes inside cauldrons and by detecting the cauldron block so now i'll be right back in minecraft 1.9 showing it to you okay i'm back here in minecraft 1.9 and now i'm going to show you how well it works so yeah you can throw potions inside cauldrons and create different crafting recipes using them pretty nice i'm really happy for that change thank you moyang the next fact is related to the search bar when we are in the creative inventory um, now we, I'm in normal mode and I'm going to explain you what I mean with normal mode But first let's search for weed and the only item that appears is the weed Not weed seeds, not anything else But if we go in F3 plus H mode which shows us the ID of each of the blocks that you can see I'll indicate it with Camtasia with an arrow and yeah, that's the that's the ID of the block now, look what happens if we try to search for wheat. There we go, seeds appear because they have a ID of wheat seeds and the search bar now includes IDs of blocks. It is really useful if you have to find blocks that have a different ID from their name. For example, Book and Quill has an ID of readable book, which is different. People from the Minecraft community always, always, since the beginnings of Minecraft, used fences and lamps to create streetlights. But there's a 
thing that I really don't like about this because fences can connect to the lamps and it creates this really really ugly connection that I really don't like. Lamps also need a lever to make them work or a daylight sensor so why not use a sea lantern? They don't connect with fences making the street lights really really nice and they also don't need a lever to work. You just place one of these sea lanterns and they look fabulous. So guys, the video is over, that was my 11 things that you probably didn't know about Minecraft. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I wish you all a nice week and I'll see you all guys later with a new video. Bye!